Hello, you all. This is, you know, me, Portia T. Air, and this video is about my traveling makeup bag. Essentially, this is the bag that I take for me when I do traveling for work, but this information I'm about to share with you all can be very beneficial to anyone that has a lot of travels going on for a vacation this summer or for the holidays coming up this fall. So I just want to show you all what I like to pack when I am traveling to make sure that I am slayed to the gods. <laughs> just a joke. So we're going to begin here. This is my Sonia Kashik. I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. Makeup bag. I purchased this bag from Target. It was about $17.99 or $18.99. If I can find the link online, I will try to add it in the video or down below in the information rather. I love this makeup bag. I love it so much that when I bought one for work, I wanted to get another one for when I do personal traveling and I could not find the bag again. It was like in one store. I bought this, let me add, in North Carolina. Then when I came back to Atlanta, I tried to find the bag and it was in no location. It wasn't in any location near me. And I haven't went back to look to see if I could find it online or anything. I hope so because this thing right here, it is the bomb. Let's begin. Excuse this camera angle. It is the first time that I am attempting. This is the first time I'm attempting to do a video with this type of setup. I hope that I'm in frame, got the lighting correct. You know, this is just trial and error. I told you guys, 2019, I'm trying to be more active on YouTube. So I wanted to try this out. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this case. <clears throat> Let me show you essentially what's in this bag. Maybe I'll take out the pieces. I think whenever, let's say this, when you're traveling with your makeup, I think you need, I know this might be a bit much. Some people, it's not in your budget. But if it is in your budget, it's important to have makeup that you keep at home and makeup that you travel with. Lord forbid something happens to your makeup, you do not want to take all your makeup with you when you travel it's a bad idea just in case you lose your makeup you do not want to get home and you have no face for your everyday look so essentially try to get makeup you can travel with and keep some of your essentials at home when i travel with my makeup i do like to keep some of my more affordable makeup for my traveling just in case, like I said, if I lose something, I won't be on my knees crying to sweet baby Jesus about why I lost all my good stuff. So I do have some higher end products, but I keep some lower end. I just keep the makeup on me that, Lord forbid I lose, I will not be, you know, heartbroken and crying on my knees, like I said. Let's start with my brushes. Ew. I have a lot of brushes. <laughs> Again, I'm a makeup artist, so you may not need all these brushes, but I find them to be very essential for me. It's good to have, you know, a liquid brush, powder, eyeshadow brushes, blush brush, highlighting, um, something for your brows. So let me kind of show you what I did. So at first, this was the brushes I would take. I had a foundation brush. So this one I got from Tarte during the holiday sale. I would use this for foundation. This for um, applying my setting powder for my concealer. I use this for eyeshadow, brushing out my brows. I use this side of the brush for my applying concealer. And I would use this side of this Tarte brush for adding my highlight, the shimmer to my cheeks. And these two brushes were for eyeshadow application as well. I also would use, oops, look, I'm about to drop it. This angle brush for eye, no, excuse me, not eyeshadow, my eyebrows if my pencil ran out. And I would use this MAC 252 brush for eyeshadow application as well as using it to 
clean up underneath my brow. So I would apply my concealer to this just to clean up my brow. So these were like my go-to brushes. Recently, I went to my, one of my favorite places, TJ Maxx, to find great makeup buys or things that have left the prestigious cosmetic counters or stores and are more affordable at TJ Maxx. So I went to TJ Maxx the other day and I found that I found a box of It's My Ray Ray brushes. Now, I do have these brushes for my at home setup because I'm like brush obsessed. But I love these brushes so much that when I seen these on sale for $9.99, do you girls hear me? $9.99. I was like, oh my God, these could be the brushes I take with me when I travel. And again, if I lost them, I wouldn't be crying. But I found these brushes to be great. Powder, highlight, concealer, um, highlighting powder. What am I trying? I'm just saying the same thing over and over. Eyeshadow. I mean, I don't know. I just found this set to be amazing. So if you guys can go to your local Target and find this It's My Razor Bay brush set by BH Cosmetics, I would say this is a great buy to put in your travel case. Yes. So now that I have these, I probably can take some of these out, but... That's neither here nor there. I'll work on that later. But an essential, affordable brush set is a great buy for your traveling makeup case. So excuse this there, because this is something I actually use. I did not purchase this for the video. This is my go-to products. This makeup case has two sides. So I'm going to show you this side, what I have inside. Then I'll show you the other side. Open it up. Well, take this off top. You always need a nice lash when traveling. I say keep you a cute lash. Excuse me if you hear my son crying and screaming in the background. He is playing in the room. Anywho, you need a great lash and lash glue for traveling. You always need this in your place because it never hurts to have a cute lash. I personally love this type of applicator for lash glue. Just the personal preference, not a must, but lashes and lash glue. When I stay at hotels, oftentimes that I'm there, they provide makeup removing cloths. Although I often bring my own skincare when I travel, but I will take these just in case you never know. What may happen one day when you pack and you might forget your skincare. So I would say grab those makeup cleansing removers, keep them with you. They even good when you put on your eyeshadow and you have some fallout and want to wipe it off. So I keep these in my makeup case. A good eyebrow pencil. This is my favorite pencil to benefit precisely my brow pencil. I love this pencil. Of course, it's more on the higher end, but this is a nice quality eyebrow pencil. I like it because it's very thin and it provides you with the brush as well. And you see it has this brush, so I can get rid of that other brush. But why, knowing me, I'm going to keep both. Eyebrow pencil. Let's start. Okay, foundations. I have my favorite, um, one of my favorites, Too Faced Born This Way. And I also take with me a drugstore brand. And the drugstore brand, I love the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir. So if I'm trying to be like really just uh, slayed, I will use my Born This Way. But if I'm just like, eh, you know, I don't really care. I got one flight, I'm doing one thing. I don't need to be too, too cute. I will put on my cover girl. And this one looks really great too. Even when I wear this, I get a lot of compliments. So this is my drugstore foundation. And then Too Faced, of course, is the more higher end. Complimenting the foundation. I do love, which is everyone's favorite, the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Again, another affordable product. So for my girls that really can't just have all this makeup. I would say take the LA girl and your cover girl for traveling. 
and then leave like the Too Faced and the other concealer I'm going to show you for home. But this is a good concealer. I, I even paired this with my Too Faced. This is just a good concealer all around. I remember when this concealer used to be, I believe it was $1.99. I recently was in Ulta and this concealer was $4.99. Do any of you guys remember when this was just like so cheap? Now it's getting up there. Funny. Okay. With the higher end concealers, I do have my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. If you guys have been, you know, follow me on social media for a number of years and things like that, you know, this was like my favorite concealer when it came out. It still is a bomb, don't get me wrong, but there's some other. The Fenty has come out. Um, oh, is it Tarte Shape Tape? Ugh, that's the bomb. This is still good too. So I keep me a lighter color and then one that's closer to my skin tone just for covering, you know, any dark spots or anything like that. And I use the lighter one for underneath my eye, down the bridge of my nose. So having two concealers is really good. Again, I'm overdoing it, so don't... And I'm not going in any particular order. Um, this is my favorite primer, the YSL. Ooh, I can't see it. Is it the Touche Elac? Elac Blur Primer. I'm probably reading that all wrong. Do not read me in the comments, but the Blur Primer by YSL. This is my favorite primer. It does not make me sweat. And one day I was in Sephora making a purchase, and this was a part of the, I don't know if it was 100 points or 200 points. I should have bought, used my points and got two of them, but I only got one. And as you all can see, it is running low. So even when I use my lower end foundation, this is just everything. It really is. I also keep me a Lancome stick. I use this sometimes when I want to really do it all out and contour my face. So I use this stick concealer for sculpting. Oh, this is not even a concealer. This is a foundation as well, but I love it because it's extremely creamy. Um, here I have the bottle of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water for setting my face. But inside, I'm really, what do I have? Let me sniff it. I can't get the top off. If it's not MAC Fix Plus, which I don't believe, it's going to be the Glam Glow Setting Spray. I just really like the way this spritzes out. And I love the container because it's easily to put into my makeup traveling bag. So once it became empty, I didn't love this particular product. So I have so many setting sprays. So I just put whatever in it once it starts um, going empty. And so I use this tube for setting. You always need a good eyeliner. I have the MAC brush stroke liner. Do they still make this? I have no idea. It's not waterproof. It's not a favorite, but I like any liner that has this felt tip. This is my favorite way to apply, if you all can see. Eyeliner. And I had quite a few of those, so I put that in there. Also from Sephora, you know, when you check out, they always have, like I said, like I got the YSL primer, different things you can use your points to purchase. And I, one time, got the Urban Decay Provision Mascara. So anytime I'm in Sephora and I see that they have 100-point mascaras, I usually just get one or two just for my traveling makeup case because I don't like to bring a big tube. And again, if I lose my makeup bag, I do not want to be crying because, you know, mascaras are practically $30 these days and you do not want $30 being stolen. So get you a little travel size or use your points to purchase the perks that they have up there at Sephora. I often like to have me a nice moisturizer. Again, I use this. I use my points to get this. This is the Tasha. Tasha or Tasha? Tasha. The water cream moisturizer. 
I love this because often in the hotels and traveling, your skin gets extremely dry. So having something like this on hand just to add a little moisture to the skin always is essential and prevents the wrinkles because what? The girls do not want to be wrinkled. Not prematurely anyway. You want to live to get some wrinkles, you know, but you ain't trying to have them yet. <laughs> oh, also at TJ Maxx recently, I got this. I love an eyeshadow that you can just throw on and go when you're not trying to do too much with your eyes. So I got this in Twig, the Stila. What are these called? Stila Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. This color is so pretty. I remember seeing this when it came out and I wanted it. Did not get it. And the other day I went to TJ Maxx and there was for $7.99. I believe these were $25. Can you say when? So this is really good when I just want to throw something on and go. Also have a MAC Pink Pot. Oh, this one's kind of open. You know these things will dry out on you real quick. I can't believe I had it open. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I hope it doesn't dry out too bad. But this is a Pink Pot. It's good when you're applying your eyeshadow. I'm old school. I know a lot of people like to do the... Um, concealer and setting powder now i still use a good old paint pot when i'm not using my concealer so this is a must so i'm gonna go ahead on to the other side what i got in here Ooh, now i'm a highlighter you know fanatic if you don't know but this maybelline master chrome molten gold is a must-have for all the girls who want affordable Highlight in our My Complexion, a little deeper or lighter. This is a must. And again, it's like $10, so I put this in my traveling case. Recently, not recently, but Macy's had a, um, what was it, buy four eyeshadow, some Anastasia. Or were they on sale for like $7? It was something crazy, and I went to Macy's and <laughs> spent some because these things are on sale. I can't remember what it was, but it was extremely affordable. I think I got all these for like 20. I can't remember. I think they were $5 each in the cake. Something like that. Either way. You always want you some essential eyeshadows. Just something that's really neutral that you can put on with any outfit. Again, I would use my paint pot or concealer and I'll apply these eyeshadows if I'm not wanting to do this, or I could still do this with this. It's just, you know, how you feel. So I think having four essential eyeshadows are really important. Dark browns, bronze, never go wrong. So having you a small eyeshadow set is essential. So that's what I like to carry. I don't like to have loose powders when I travel. So I had got this from MAC when I used to work there. This is the Soft Focus Shaping Powder. I use this to shape, um, to shape, <laughs> to set my concealer like some girls would use the Fenty or Banana Powder or Laura Mercier, but this is really good and it's not messy. So you need something to set your concealer and this is a must. I think it's important to have, now you don't need two blushes, but I have two. I have one that's matte and one that has a little more shimmer. These are both by MAC. Um, having blush that is neutral, that can go with any lip, is always important. You know, they always say have your blush to complement your lipstick. But if you're in a vine, you just need something. Just get you two neutral blushes. This one's raisin. This one's sweet as cocoa. You don't have to have these two colors, but something that's just simple so having a blush is important you don't need to i have to because you know it's like to be a little fun but a nice neutral blush i have my bronzer by covergirl this is ebony bronze by um excuse me the covergirl queen collection i don't even think they make this anymore i dropped this in one of the hotels so it cracked um but it was getting a hole in it anyway but I'm trying to hold on to it because from what I see online, I don't think they make this anymore. So having a nice bronzer to go on top of your stick contour or cream contour is, you know, essential. When this runs out, I'll probably go back to my MAC blunt powder. But I love that. 
I always keep me a backup matte brown eyeshadow. And this is for those times when, you know, you're putting on your eyebrow pencil and it just empties. Because you have no, um, there is no warning when these things run out. This one has ran out. But I always keep this just in case one of these want to act up on me. So I was keeping you a matte brown eyeshadow is really essential for your eyebrows. For setting your liquid foundation, I always love a mineral powder. I love the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And I love the Sephora brand. Um, What's it called? Micro Smooth. This is very good and it's cheaper than the MAC Mineralized. As you all can see, I'm at Pan. And your girl needs a new one, so I'm about to get a new one probably. Go to store. Oh, not today. It's a Sunday. Store's probably closed, so I'll go another day. But having the powder for all over. And also, on days when I don't want to have such a popping highlight like this Master Chrome gives me, I have a nice, just soft, bronzy highlighter. This one's Glow With It Extra Dimension Skin Finish by MAC. So, as you all can see, I like to have a variety. You know, I have a little uh and a little uh. So, I have my low end and my high end highlighting powders. This is not a must. Again, do one or the other, ladies. It's up to you. And there you have it. That is Portia Tears Traveling Makeup Essentials. I hope this information was, you know, very informative to some of you all. I hope you guys got some great tips and ideas on things you want to take when you travel. And again, ladies, keep you something affordable to travel with and keep all your bomb makeup at the house. Also, when traveling, always take your traveling makeup case in your carry-on luggage. Never check your makeup just in case they want to throw it around and something get broke. So I always tell ladies, take your traveling makeup and your carry-on and leave the check luggage for, you know, the bigger things. Again, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found it to be informative. And I want you to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will check you all out on my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.